Hey guys, you know a lot of what my channel is about, I know mostly it's about gardening and about growing heirlooms and preserving seeds and stuff in history. But you know a lot of, of a lot of what it's about is also independence. It's about being prepared when the grid goes down or something like that. Now I'm not one of these chicken little people to say uh, you know something horrible is going to happen although I do have a video coming up soon that is about uh, natural disasters and things like that. But um, I, it's, it's not about uh, if the grid is going to go down, it's about when it's going to go down. I've been in multiple situations where the grid has gone down uh, because of natural disasters and whatnot, and, and so I'm not kind of trying to be one of these paranoid people. It's happened to me multiple times. That's why I have a lot of things on my channel about independence and about uh, survival and whatnot. Uh, but one of the things that is the hardest when the grid goes down is providing electricity. Now I've done some other reviews on solar systems and whatnot and I, I will have another video coming up this fall about installing some larger solar panels. But what if you don't have large panels and you don't have the capacity to be able to store the, the energy in batteries and things like that? Well, uh, one solution would be, especially if you're only going to be down for a day or two, uh, one thing that is essential is to have portable power, which means that you want to be able to have your phone work, your, you know, your cell phones work, and to have some extra juice, some battery backup for it. Okay, so I've come across another portable solar charger for you guys to take a look at. And this one here is called the Kicker 4 by Ascent Solar. Now, I've been using this for about three weeks, and I've got to tell you, I'm thoroughly impressed by it. Now the biggest reason I, I, I like this is because it's very light, it's foldable, and it can easily go into a pack. And now I did a, a review before on the Juice Orange, and I really like the Juice Orange, I really do. But there were some limitations on it. Uh, for one thing, it would not charge my portable power bank. Now this here has an output of 1.2 amps, and it will charge my portable power banks, which to me is, is a thumbs up right away, because I need more <clears throat> than just the power bank that's built into the juice. I need to be able to charge some external devices, not just the usable devices, but I need to be able to store the energy. And I think it's critical for you to be able to to store energy if you're not needing to power something right away. In other words, uh, it was critical for me to be able to charge my Galaxy S3, but if if I charge the S3 and I still have lots of sunshine and the juice was full, on um, you know, the juice orange was full, I have no other way, I had no other way of storing more energy. So if I can if I can charge this fully and I can charge as many power banks as I want, then that then to me that's a that's a plus. And so like I say, I've been using this for about three weeks and I've got to tell you I'm I'm thoroughly impressed. Uh, I'll give you the specs and the rundown <clears throat> um, on my website. I'll put a link to my website where I've done a complete written review. Now, this one of the requirements, of course, was this, to be able to charge this. Another requirement was to be able to charge my, my headlamp, my black diamond headlamp. And this, this charges my black diamond headla headlamp really quick. It does, a, it does a really good job, and I'm really impressed with that. Now, as far as my power banks, this will charge my power banks, and my power banks will charge at 1 amp, which this thing puts out 1.2. However, what I am using now for storage is also by Enterplex. I'm using this Jumper Slate 5K. Now, this is a 5100, uh, it's a 5100 milliamp battery, battery pack, and I'll, I'll give you the specs on this too in another video, but uh, I've got to tell you, I'm, I'm really impressed with this thing too. And so stay tuned for my video on this within a day or two. And But uh, this is what I'm charging now, and it will charge this up incredibly quick, for me at least. All this stuff will charge within a day, and I, I did a test on this, and I'll just give you one quick little uh, spoiler, I guess it is, <laughs> for the... Uh, for the website was that I was able to charge my Galaxy S3, this power bank, and this all in one full day of sun. Okay, so to me that's a that's a thumbs up. That's like a, a quadruple thumbs up for me because that that's really critical for me to be able to have storage. And so I will put a link for you to go to be able to go out to the website and to look at the complete written review of it. Okay, so I'm going to bring you in. Okay, so now first off, I've got to I've got to say I, I I I really like the packaging. 
all cardboard. Okay, I do not like plastic, and people that have seen my reviews know that I cannot stand plastic. So that, I know that's a small thing, isn't it? But it, it irks me when people just use tons of plastic. All cardboard, so I can recycle this. Uh, now let me give you the specs on this first. Now on this, this solar panel, you get, uh, get 6.5 watts unregulated input, 6 watts, 5 volt regulated system, 1.2 amp output. Now this was critical for me because I needed one amp output to charge my power banks. Okay, so let me give you a rundown of what you get here. Now, in the box, you're going to get the four panel solar charger, and it just unfolds. You'll see there's, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's a lot of scuffs here and whatnot. I have been using it for a few weeks. <clears throat> and you lay this out here, and what I've done is I've built a little wooden stand for all my solar chargers to be able to angle, so I can angle it so that it'll, I can make sure that it's hitting the sun directly. And so you've got your four panels here, you just fold those up like that, and here on the fourth panel is the USB charger right here. It's just a USB output. That's all it is. Very simple, very light. And what I did was, first off, I set this out in the sun, and I threw on my, my Galaxy S3. And uh, what you get with this you do get a universal power cord here and it's got, let me let me open this, I didn't use this because I just used the power cord for my Galaxy S3 but here you have the USB which plugs into here and then you've got a, a little dongle here for the iPhone a mini USB and a micro USB, the micro USB of course would would go with this. Now I didn't use this because uh, I already had one, so you get you get the power cord, you get the you get the solar charger, and you get these bands. Now I guess they're different colors and whatnot, so that you can just you know pick the color you like, I guess. And I, I and I'm assuming that this is just to hold this <clears throat> to hold this down like this to keep it from flopping all over the place. So I'll pick your color on that. So the first thing I did was I plugged this Galaxy S3 in and I wanted to see how long it would take. Uh, I was thoroughly impressed at how quick this charged. It charged in about two and a half, a little over two and a half hours. I have the specs out on my website. Uh, so when that was done charging, I did that in the morning, I figured I got a lot of the day left, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on. I threw that on and this charged in a good amount of time. Within a few hours I had this fully charged. Okay, so now we're looking at we're looking at early afternoon. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna throw this 5100 milliamp charger on here and see if I can do that. And to my surprise, this here was able to charge uh, by the end of the day. So in one full day, I had my Galaxy S3. I brought this down to 10%, by the way. I brought it down to 10% and then charged it back up. Now on this here, I don't have an indicator, but I know it was really low because the juice was, the, the, the light was getting very dim. So I don't know the charge on that, but it was very low. I'm guessing 10-15% on that. And then this here was, uh, I'd say it was about 25% charge left on this, which I had one light left. There's four lights on this. And I'll, like I said, I'm going to do a review on this for you. But I had one light left on this. So And so it charged up all three of these in one full day of sun. Now you have to remember one thing, though, is that this is summer sun directly overhead. So it's a lot more direct. If you're using this in the winter time, your sun is in the lower part of the hemisphere, which, of course, well, I mean, in the United States it is. It's lower, and so uh, it's going to be a little bit harder to get some sun. So you're just going to have to remember that. You're going to have to play with this, tilt it, make sure that you, you direct this toward the sun. But uh, with me, it was directly overhead. I tilted it, of course, in the morning, and then I just, uh, in the afternoon, I had to just, I had to play with it as the sun came over. So... Uh, Anyways, I was thoroughly impressed with that. I was able to charge all three things. Uh, anyways, it's it's if you're using this for backpacking and, and whatnot, then this is this is a this is a, a plus, a godsend. Now, uh, it does have grommets on here, and the beauty of the grommets, I know that a lot of people could say, well, you could put it in a binder or anything like that. I don't I don't use a binder. I'm not in school anymore. I haven't been in school for 35 years. Uh, well, not that long. <laughs> but anyways. Uh, I believe with the grommets you be able to attach this to something to be able to secure it. Just like the Juice Orange, you can secure this. Uh, 
So anyways, that's that's the that's the the the, the rundown on this, the lowdown. I'm thoroughly impressed with this. Okay guys, well there it is, the Kicker 4 by Ascent Solar. Uh, I've got to tell you so far, this is the best solar charger that I have reviewed yet. And I've 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 been searching for good solar chargers and I've tried a lot of them. So I think this one is worthy of of at least our attention. And I've been using it for three weeks now and I'm thoroughly impressed. So I'll put a link below where you can go out and take a look at the specs on it and stuff like that. But I think you're going to be impressed. If, you're, if you like to hike, if you like to camp, or if you just want something that's going to give you a little bit of power when the grid goes down, then I think this is probably going to fit the bill. So, all right, guys. Well, thanks a lot. And don't forget to go out and, and, and read the complete written review that I did on this. All right. So thanks for watching, guys. And don't forget to subscribe. And we'll catch you later.